Yennefer of Vengerberg told it there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. the Emperor's spies told him, Ceri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Marigold. Take care of the coppers. Why fight tomorrow? What you can fight today? Eternal fire. I'm in a rut. I've such a hard time. Welcome. Welcome. What have you got there? in here. Want you gone by the time I count to three. One. Hear that? Two. Ooh, looky. Thinks he can scare us off. Three. Most likely hiding in some rat trap with the rest of them. Someone's got to know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid grove? Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, got to know how to get there. They say you've got to get there through the sewers, but you've got to enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar, or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves got to pay tribute to the King of Beggars. 
Word is, I'm doing a grab. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars? It's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. Miss Menger. Temple God! Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorceress bitchy shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. Small animals. Can't say I'm really interested. I know your trade. Spotted those yellow eyes amidst the rabble in the square right away. Did you notice how much common folk love flames? The eternal fire will consume them all one day, one way or another. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them, Novigrad's no place for your kind. I haven't done anything wrong. But you will. Sooner or later, your sort always causes trouble. And this city's mine to protect. Mine, and the eternal fires. Nothing I can do to you now, but just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error. You'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. Deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! The will is mightier than the sword, oh yes. Help a poor fellow. Take pity on me, misery, good folk, and aid a man crippled by misfortune. Where it is, nothing's free in Novigrad. Oh, another one come bursting with questions. Now, where do you folk gain the idea we beggars know everything? I need to see this and I need to find that one who robbed me brother. Fuck if I know! There's this place in Novigrad they call the Putrid Grove. Aye, it's about right. Well... Novigrad's full of nooks and crannies with odd names. Looking to sightsee by a bloody man. Heard men like you frequent this alley. And I've heard they fed you all shit and you smiled and ate it. Now, don't make no offence. Go in peace. Arms for the poor. Aid a veteran of the struggle against the black ones. Where do you fight? Angering early on. In Sidaris last, along the banks of the Pontar. So, help me out. Here. Now you help me. 
Gotta find the back alley locals call the Putrid Grove. It's important. Don't know naught about no grove, putrid or other. Don't generally care much for orchardry. This is urgent. Leave me be, I don't know. Help a poor fellow out. Ah! Well, look kindly on a wretched soul. Aid one who last saw nourishment three days past. All right, give you a crown. Crown's enough, my lord. When your gut's so empty, it's stuck flat to your spine. Could give you more, on one condition. You tell me where you drop your takings for the day. I drop them with me lady. Serious trouble if I didn't. I think you take them to the Putrid Grove. As far as I'm concerned, the King of Beggars can stick his crown up his arse, then shove it even deeper with his scepter. Bugger won't get a broken copper for me. You're either pretty damn brave, or just plain stupid. What's he gonna do? Break me legs? Let him. Me takings double as a cripple. From what I hear, they'd break your legs just to start. Some coin for me future widow, then. There. Now tell me where the Putrid Grove is. It's the least you could do. I don't know. And believe you me, I don't want to know. God protect. I bloody well told him not to stick his arse to that room. To the eternal fire, that it may grant our supper. Eternal fire. Perhaps it's not a whit better. than I thought. Can't get too close. Why the hell are you following me? Just happen to be going where you're going. And how the bloody hell do you know where I'm going? Well, you're not as clever as you think. And I'm not blind. You're on your way to see the King of Beggars. Gonna rob me? Got any plowing idea what a courier is? This gold is from the non-humans. Take it, and you be fucked. I don't want anything from you. Pack her up and kiss my ass. Come on, we can figure something out. Ah, sort of pufter. Let him strive the gaze of so fierce. Bloody Mock easy. a witcher just once and your gut he could pierce. Yeah, terrible trait. Poking around where I probably shouldn't be, I know. But I gotta find the Putrid Grove. That's a secret place for secret folk doing secret business. And who's to say you're any good at keeping a secret? 
No one. Grab him! Smash the bugger! Too late to surrender. Bloody hell. Easy. Jumpy, are we? Sheathe your steel. Please? Got a simple question. You're gonna give me a simple answer. Where's the putrid grove? In... In Lysol's. Down an alley. Man, guarding the gate. Gotta give him the password. What is the password? Old sows, farrowed piglets. See, just gotta make the effort. Open up. Who are you and what you want? Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated kill anti things. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know it. Gotta to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Old sows, pharaoh piglets. Ah. Welcome to the grove, brother. We made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you'll sit in ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Atris. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Your spies tell you I was looking for the Putrid Grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding river fish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, Putrid Grove? Ugly name for our cosy little hideout, wouldn't you say? Temple Guard tolerate your little operation? Let's say... They appreciate the value of a Novigrad crown. Hmm. Manga doesn't seem like the type that can be bought. Anyone can be bought. But like is true, Manga had cost me a fortune. Luckily, he's got officers, and they're mere mortals. Illnesses catch him at times. Other times, they want to catch a bit of diversion. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans, far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition, farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. 
cheering crowd at the execution, mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. Well, one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove, but it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city, because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and... Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman, who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can. Who might know more? Hello, Clue. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to! When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You can't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? Well, some causes require a sacrifice. Causes? What about people? For people, same holds true. So, maybe you care to dive in after that sack for me? You win. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out. He was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn it, went mad. We were lucky this time, but... You'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug.
There's a draft. Should be an exit here. Klug wouldn't have sent us here if there wasn't. Must be a lever on this wall that'll open us up. City of Novograd. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out at the frying pan with a fire. But Novograd stands on top of a mountain of coin, and winning a. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Menga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on, six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon & Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. All right then. Let's get to work. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. Eternal fire will guide you. I'll Where do you think you're going? Where has job won't wait you now?
Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I worried about that sort of thing, I'd starve to death in this city. Think I plugged every hole in there. All right. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate these instruments, we'll have a moment to talk. Well? Well? Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? I was worried about seeing you again. Doubted it could be pleasant. We said everything there was to say six months ago. I don't want to go back to that. I'm not going back to it. It's just... It's one thing to say something, it's another to actually do it. We promise to remain friends. I hope nothing will change that. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Such a sharp sense of smell. You should have legged it while you had the chance. I don't generally leg it. Here's what I think you should do. Pay up and march your boys out of here while there's still time. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I didn't hire a sorceress in order to pay her. Check my advice, mutant. If it's not your business, stay out of it. Thanks for the advice, but I can't take it. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember. I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. Looking for a bruising? For you, we need to find Brad. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live, and pay us double. 
now. F fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. No need. Glad I could help. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri, and I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareen Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal, away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now. Before Corrine goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. All right. See you later. Oi, Kokka! Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Kareen is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim. The truth is, we're already... Just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. All right. Time to check the attic. Put it down, please. That's blood! Don't spill it! Please! Stop! Go away! Don't do that! Leave it!
There's blood! Don't spill it! Please! stuff. A doll. Drawing shows it lying in a cradle. Go away! Maybe I should find one. Don't do it. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. <laughs> Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, Trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty, so I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with, so I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah. Novograd's no place for a godling, but if you want to live here, that's your business, so let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend, not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. 
I won't stop her. She'll get up. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you. Very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. The second sword is in... dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, Development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. 
I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stega Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs, slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she travels between worlds. <sighs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? something else. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake? The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? <laughs> If Ciri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left in the Rosemary in time in their will. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your series.